Last week, OpenAI released GPT-5.2. On the surface, it looked like just another model update. No dramatic keynote, no viral demo clips flooding social media. But if you look closely at what actually changed, this release might be one of the clearest signals yet of where artificial intelligence is heading and why the conversation is slowly shifting beyond chatbots. In this video, we're breaking down why GPT-5.2 is more than just another upgrade, how it quietly reshapes the AI race after Google's recent Gemini advancements, and why an unexpected partnership with Disney could reveal where AI is moving next, not in theory, but in real-world use. For months now, the AI race has felt unstable. Google's latest Gemini models delivered strong benchmark results, sparking serious discussion across the industry about whether OpenAI was losing its long-held lead. For a company that defined how the public experiences AI, that pressure mattered. According to multiple industry reports, this moment wasn't treated as routine competition. OpenAI reportedly accelerated development timelines in response, recognizing that the gap wasn't small and catching up wouldn't be easy. Not long after, GPT-5.2 arrived, and instead of chasing flashy demos, OpenAI chose a quieter but far more strategic battlefield, reasoning. To understand why GPT-5.2 matters, you need to understand the benchmark it performs so well on. The ARC Prize, short for Abstraction and Reasoning Corpus, is very different from traditional AI tests. Most benchmarks reward pattern recognition or recall. ARC does not. The problems are designed so that memorization alone doesn't work. The model has to infer rules, adapt to unfamiliar situations, and generalize logic it hasn't explicitly seen before. In simple terms, ARC tests how well an AI can reason when faced with something genuinely new, closer to how humans approach unfamiliar problems. That's why ARC often comes up in discussions around artificial general intelligence, not because it proves AGI, but because it measures progress in abstraction and reasoning, areas brute force scaling struggles to fake. This is where GPT-5.2 quietly made history. GPT-5.2 Pro achieved the highest reported scores on both ARC AGI 1 and ARC AGI 2, and it didn't just score well, it did so with better cost efficiency than competing models. That detail matters. A model that reasons well only in controlled lab conditions is impressive. A model that reasons well efficiently can actually be deployed at scale. Crossing the 50% mark on ARC AGI doesn't mean AGI has arrived, but it does represent a meaningful psychological and technical milestone. It shows that general reasoning is becoming measurable, repeatable, and improvable, not just a research aspiration. And this is where the narrative around GPT-5.2 shifts. Instead of optimizing purely for speed or scale, OpenAI appears to be prioritizing abstraction, efficiency, and reasoning depth. That's a long-term strategy, not a short-term headline grab. What makes this even more interesting is the timing. Just as GPT-5.2 reinforces OpenAI's position in reasoning benchmarks, the company makes a move in a completely different direction, one focused not on tests, but on culture. OpenAI announced the partnership with the Walt Disney Company involving Sora, its video generation model. Under this agreement, Sora can generate short-form videos using licensed characters from Disney, Marvel, Pixar, and Star Wars, some of the most recognizable fictional characters of cinema. This isn't about generic avatars or experimental animations. It's about placing iconic characters into AI-generated worlds using simple prompts under controlled, licensed conditions. This deal isn't just about entertainment. It highlights one of the most difficult challenges in generative AI, character consistency. Keeping a character's identity, behavior, and personality stable across scenes is something humans notice instantly when it goes wrong. While OpenAI and Disney haven't framed the partnership as a technical benchmark, the implications are clear. Working with some of the world's most recognizable fictional characters places unusually high expectations on AI systems. These characters have well-defined identities, histories, and emotional expectations attached to them. In that sense, collaborating with Disney's character ecosystems naturally pushes generative models toward a harder problem, maintaining coherence and identity over time, not just producing visually impressive clips. Whether intentional or not, this kind of collaboration represents a real-world test of how well AI can handle narrative consistency, a challenge that goes far beyond visuals alone. Selected fan-inspired Sora videos may eventually be featured on Disney platforms, but the larger story isn't distribution, it's whether AI can handle narrative continuity at scale. 
For viewers who grew up with these franchises, this hits on a deeper emotional level. AI isn't just generating content anymore, it's remixing nostalgia. It's allowing people to interact with familiar worlds in ways that once required entire production teams. This naturally puts pressure on platforms like Meta and Google, which are also racing to integrate AI into creative and social workflows. Short-form, emotionally resonant content already dominates online attention. Add iconic characters into that mix, and the implications become significant. But here's the connection most people miss. GPT 5.2's performance on ARC AGI and OpenAI's Disney partnership aren't separate stories, they're two sides of the same shift. On one side, you have improvements in reasoning and abstraction, models that can understand rules instead of copying patterns. On the other, you have creative systems that require that reasoning to maintain consistency, narrative logic, and identity over time. Intelligence and creativity are starting to converge. That's why the conversation around AGI is changing. The question is no longer just, can an AI solve logic puzzles? It's, can an AI reason, adapt, and remain coherent across domains humans emotionally care about. GPT 5.2 doesn't mean we've reached AGI, but it does show something important. Progress is no longer isolated. Improvements in reasoning are showing up in creative systems. Creative demands are pushing models to reason better. And the winners won't just be the companies with the biggest models, but the ones that understand how intelligence is actually used. As GPT 5.2 continues to be tested, especially in areas like long-form reasoning and character consistency, we'll get clearer answers about how close we really are to general intelligence. Until then, the most meaningful changes may not arrive with loud announcements. Sometimes they arrive quietly, hidden inside benchmark scores, partnerships, and tools that slowly reshape how people interact with technology. And the next big test of AI might not be another exam. It might be a story that feels real enough to forget it was generated at all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.